A local state senator wants only adults to access online pornography. His bill would require anyone over 18 to show a digital ID. Yeah, 4029's Jacob Murphy in the newsroom. And Jacob, you spoke with the senator behind this bill today. Yeah, Allison and Brandon. Tyler Dees of Siloam Springs says the bill will protect children from harmful material that can be easy to access online. But the owner of a local cybersecurity company says it's not that easy. It's a bill that we are trying to protect our children, protect our children from harmful material online. Senate Bill 66 is in the works after being proposed last week. It would require a valid ID to view pornographic content online. So we've seen so much um, data come back to us that is proving um, harm to our children from exposure to this type of material like pornography. Which could lead to some issues. By you identifying yourself, um, A, you open yourself for problems. And unfortunately, a lot of these porn websites are actually very shady websites. Issues that lawmakers are willing to face. But what we're not going to allow is the easy accessibility to our to our children. In order to keep kids safe. What this does is creates an age verification process that requires harmful material to make sure that they are uh, intensifying their age verification process before uh, allowing access to their material. One of the issues is the risk of identity theft. If you ever went through identity theft, I can tell you like that's probably the worst nightmare, nightmare someone can have because someone literally just like flip over your life. Despite pushback, the bill is headed to the Insurance and Commerce Committee. I believe we have the votes to do that. With the right number of votes, it will head to the Senate floor and then the House. Which will have a House sponsor present that and, and then it will move to the governor's desk. And so we believe we have momentum. We believe it's the right thing to do. Dee says that if everything continues to move along smoothly, the bill could pass and start going into action in just a couple of weeks. If it gets shut down, he says that he will rework the language and phrasing of the bill and not stop pushing for the change. In the newsroom, Jacob Murphy, 4029 News.